Hey, what's up guys? It's Fast Axe and Jax. It is that time. The 2020 Harley Davidson models are in the store. So that means I'm gonna be hopping on these bikes, doing some reviews, kind of showing you guys some new things, um, some things I like about the bikes, some different things, some little minor things that they have changed. So we'll start going over that. This is a 2020 Road Glide Special and the color is Scorched Orange and Silver Flux. Now, you saw a similar model for 2019, but the, the silver in the 2019 model was denim. Now on this new one for 20, we got that scorched orange and silver flux, but the silver on this one is actually gloss. So some minor changes there. It's absolutely beautiful. They've done a fantastic job on the paint. As you can see, this bike is beautiful and they've had a ton of people drooling over it since it came in. Um, they removed the heel shifter for 20, um, which I actually like. I'm not a heel shifter guy. That's just me. I know that some guys out there have really come to rely on some heel shifters, so that may take some getting used to, but they do have heel shifters in the P&A um, if that bothers you and you'd like to get a heel shifter on the motorcycle. Um, we still got some of the common things like the reflex linked ABS. Um, we got the 19 in the front, still your 130 tire and we've got the 18 in the rear. Now these are new wheels released by Harley Davidson and they are called the Prodigy wheels. And they're gorgeous. I really like the cross spokes. I think they give the bike a more aggressive, like kind of moto look. And uh, it really works, it really looks good. So uh, I just wanted to do a walk around and kind of show it to you a little bit. Now we're gonna hop on it and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. So we got the Boom GTS, nice and vivid, vividly bright. I'll tell you what, for you guys out there that haven't got the chance to come in and ride one of these 114s, I definitely suggest you do so. The torque and power is nice. All right, so like I said, we got the 114 cubic inch motor, which translates to about 1868 cc's. So plenty of power. Um, you guys heard me talk about the Boom GTS, which is a six and a half inch screen. Super vivid, super bright, a lot brighter than the previous um, infotainment center that they had in the bikes. Um, now they had this in 19 as well, but I really haven't got the chance to really talk about it. So I wanted to talk about it a, a little bit. Um, now uh, we got a, uh, an app you can download now called HD Connect. You can connect your phone directly to it. Um, and in the app, the app does some pretty cool things. Uh, it would tell you like motorcycle status. Um, it's got some uh, stolen motorcycle tracking, some bunch of cool features there. That's pretty cool stuff. Got a little bit of traffic here. I'll tell you what, the clutch, the clutch feels great. They've really kind of dialed that in. I know on the uh, on the 17s, um, so we we had a little bit of complaints about the clutch, but in the last couple years, they've really nailed it. And the clutch has got a great pull. It's not too firm at all, um, and it engages in the perfect spot. Um, now on the 17th, it seemed to engage a little bit late. For me personally, I didn't like that. Um, they've really dialed that in and it engages in a much better spot. Um, as always, 
road glide corners beautifully. Um, let's talk about some specs here. Um, the seat height is 27.3 inches. So, and it's not too bad. I'm six foot. I got plenty of bend in my knees. I don't think you would have any problems if you were in like the 5'9", five, 5'10 five, area. Um, they also make low profile seats and some things to help you out if you need a little more clearance, um, a little more ground clearance. We're in uh, right at, I believe, about 867 pounds in running order. So, and uh, I mean, it handles beautiful. The weight is nothing. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been on road glides and ridden road glides. If you haven't got the chance to, to, to ride any of these new road glides, they are fantastic handling motorcycles. Um, even with the 18 inch rear, um, and bringing up the 18 inch rear, it does not ruin the ride of the bike at all. When they first started doing the 18s in the rear, I was a little skeptical. Um, but you know what? These bikes handle so well and they ride so good, you hardly even notice it. Um, now a new for 18, all of the touring bikes, all of them, your Road King Classics, your Street Glide Standards, Street Glide Special, Road Glide Specials, they all have 18s in the rear. Um, and I think that's great. It adds some style to the motorcycle. And it's also still got your stretch bags in the rear for looks. Um, really clean sound, not too loud, not too low. Um, you know, some slip-ons will help that out um, if you'd like the bike to be a little bit louder. But other than that, I think it has a great sound. I think it has a great feel. Um, like I said, we still got the reflex linked ABS. which controls the braking independently. Um, now a new, a new feature for uh, 2020, they are, this motorcycle does not have it, but they are releasing a new system that is optional on these motorcycles called RDRS, which is a, uh, they have a traction control system. They have cornering ABS because ABS is intended to help you stop and limit wheel lock in a straight line now with the rdrs system the new rdrs system you have abs and cornering it's got a um, vehicle hold where if you're on a hill it applies some brake pressure to to ease you out of the hill make it a little bit easier to get out of the hill um, like i mentioned cornering abs uh, vehicle hold control um, your your reflex link brakes will still be in there. So that's some cool stuff. I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit more as I learn more about it. Um, I still just have basic knowledge on the RDRS, but as I ride more of them and I get more information, I will clue you guys in on that and uh, get you guys some more information there. your cruise control is still standard your abs is standard um, like i said the rdrs the new system will be optional still you got your completely hands-free infotainment center so you've got your home button right here that'll always bring your home got your navigation so go ahead and select the navigation the navigation looks beautiful with the new display like i said it's a ton brighter more interactive and uh, it's it's relatively user friendly i'll tell you what man i'm a road glide guy all the way so these new prodigy wheels that i think are absolutely stunning i've talked about that um, they make them in bronze as well. If you guys haven't got the opportunity to check out the bronze ones, please do so. Um, I think the bronze wheels would look stunning on this scorched orange and silver flux. Um, so this bike also comes in six different colors. There are six different color options for it. I'll touch more on that on some future videos as I bring some more out. So we got some color options for you guys out there. Um, I'd probably say that this is my favorite one. Um, Harley also came out with a stone washed white pearl which is a beautiful beautiful white pearl color so definitely get on and check that out on the website
I'll tell you what though, that new that new 2020 Lowrider S, I have to have it. I cannot wait to get my hands on that bad boy and review that thing for you guys. That that's my love. That's my dream. I gotta have it. So excuse me guys if I've if I've missed some things here. I'm a little rusty on the uh, on the reviews since uh, a lot of you guys know the storm wrecked all my equipment, so it so took some time to recover from that. Um, but as I get back into it and get my rhythm back, we'll. We'll get you guys some good quality reviews coming your way. But, man, this thing is a beauty. And um, I love the 114. I mean, I love it. Plenty, plenty of power. And for you guys out there that are power power guys like me, power junkies, speed junkies, they got the P&A motor kits that'll hop this bad boy up pretty much as much as you want to. And uh, not that it needs it because it is plenty of power and plenty of torque. Uh, I think, believe, right around 119 foot pounds of torque, um, which is pretty awesome. So that's Harley's claim. And um, We'll, we'll see as we get to play with them more and more but a lot of these new color options um, for the 20s are great the bikes are beautiful like i said i think the 18s in the rear were great this thing breaks great i feel like they've you know it doesn't seem like they've made much changes in the brakes the last couple years but i feel like every time i get on one it, it just breaks better and better See, not too bad. Sounds good. All right, you know I'm gonna do, you know, you guys know I'm gonna do my uh, center of gravity thing. We're gonna get here and get on a little slower speed. Downshift down to one. Like I said, don't let the 867 pounds fool you. I mean, these things are very well balanced, very, very well balanced. Um, one thing I've always talked about that Harley Davidson has always done really well is center of gravity at very low speeds. These bikes are very maneuverable um, and they handle their weight really, really great. So if you haven't got the chance or you've been wanting to hop on a touring bike, but you think the weight is a little intimidating, don't let that bother you. These bikes ride like a dream and uh, I could ride this thing for hours and hours and hours on end. So anyway, I wanted to touch on the center of gravity a little bit. I'm gonna bring her back in so we can get this bad boy on the showroom floor and possibly to a new home here pretty soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There'll be more to come. Um, I really appreciate it. Have a rockin' Harley day.